Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of my Jurassic Park Sandbox Park Building series. So, yesterday, I asked you guys to create a name for the park, and no one did. So, I'm just gonna name it. So, the name of the park is gonna be called Opio Park. Don't ask why I called it Opio Park. I like the name Opio. Just get over with it. So, last episode we built some Main Street, this stuff. We also built the staff facilities, the holding pen, and our first enclosure. So, this episode we need to make dinosaurs. So, the first dinosaur we're gonna make, we're gonna get to it right away. So, the first dinosaur we are going to make is going to be the Stilly Moloch. The Stiggy Moloch. The Stiggy, yes, the Stiggy Moloch. Okay, so let's just modify some genome real quick. So, let's have let, the coastal pattern, pa pattern. Yeah, so let's make two of those. Let me actually do some of this, some hatchery capacity, and then incubation speed. So now those dinosaurs are gonna be hatched. Let me actually just make three, of, no four, four of them. And then let's just build some more. So this is gonna be the Sticky Moloch enclosure. They are a um, herbivore. So that means they eat uh, leaves and they're a vegetarian. So I just added those two feeders right there. So yes, this is gonna be the first enclosure for the Sticky Moloch. They have like a big head that is made out of skull and they can like bump into stuff so we better be careful that they don't escape so at, oh no there's a storm warning that is not good hopefully nothing is going to happen but for now let's build there's no one in the park so i don't have to oh and yes ac center is damaged so this is what the ranger team is for Okay, so something else has been, oh, a restroom. A restroom has been damaged. So yeah, this is what the uh, rangers team is for, for healing sick dinosaurs and uh, repairing stuff. So let's just repair that. So, oh, okay, let me just do this. I'm not gonna do this, I'm just gonna give this guy a task and then He's gonna repair that, it's fine. So, I think that we should start building another enclosure. So, our next enclosure is, I kinda wanna be a carnivore enclosure. If you don't know what carnivore is, a carnivore is a meat eater dinosaur. So, yeah. So let's just build it like we did the other enclosure. No, I don't want, yeah. So. So this one, I think we should just put a small carnivore because I don't want it to be that big. And then, this is, yeah, that's good. Okay, the storm is gone, so that's good at least. Okay, so now let's just build the viewing gallery. So I think, yeah, so this can fit this whole thing, so. Let's just put one viewing gallery right there. Change this path to this. And now let's just make some trees. We, don't, we can't really have that many trees because this is a small enclosure for a small dinosaur. So, you know, let's just have some trees on the side like this. And then keep this whole side away from the trees and maybe some of the side away from the trees also. So let's just add a little water also on this side, like this. And since this is gonna be a carnivore, let's add a, no, the goat is for the big carnivore. So let's just add a carnivore feeder and a carnivore feeder. So two carnivore feeders. So I think that's it for that. I'm gonna use a gyrosphere for the big enclosures. 
so the st sticky mollocks are ready to release. So here is our first dinosaur in Opio Park, the sticky Moloch. Aw, hey buddy, how you doing? You look so cute. How you doing? Oh, you're such a cutie pie. So cute, 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 cute. Look at those small arms. Okay, let's just release the rest. So now, let me get the ACU helicopter. And it's gonna tranquilize that so we can move it to the next station. Let me also just make some more so we can add more like tasks for this thing. There. So, also I removed the other ranger station and the other ACU center to make more power stations because now we have to rely on power and we need power to run the park obviously so this is going to be the carnivore enclosure so let's actually start incubating the carnivores so should we have velociraptor proceratosaurus dilophosaurus or the i don't know how to say dead Jan Squishus. I don't know. Or the bear. No, the Baryonyx needs a big cage. Or this dinosaur. I don't. I don't know when some of these are called. The Tyrannosaurus Rex are gonna stay for the end. So, uh, since this is like a little small, it's like super small. Let's just have the Dilophosaurus, cause who who doesn't like the Dilophosaurus? So we'll have two Dilophosaurus. One with that color scheme. Actually, no, three Dilophosaurus. One with that color scheme. And just one with the normal color scheme. And then the last Easy Moloch is being released. So let's actually also tranquilize these guys. And let's transport this Sticky Moloch to its enclosure. So it's gonna be there soon. So, so far the park is closed, so at the end we're going to open the park, so everything will go as planned. After we have like three dinosaurs, I will open the park, because we can't have a dinosaur with like one dinosaur. I mean, a park with one dinosaur. Oh, look at these guys, they're so cute. They're like little bubbies. Oh, now they're all running. That's great. That, that one's tranquilized. Let's move it to its enclosure. And so we have three Dilophosaurus in the making. Let's see if there's anything else that we can make. So the next, I'm not going to incubate it now, but the next dinosaur we're going to make. Hmm. So I want the next dinosaur to be a, actually, let's make a herbivore field. Basically with all the herbivores. So we need the Brachiosaurus, obviously. Parasaurolophus. Uh, not Struthiomimus. Let's have the... Ar I don't know how to arch uh her minus I don't know how to or the uh, the gallimimus definitely the gallimimus we need that oh uh, we should also have the uh, not triceratops that I'll give the triceratops its own pen the edamontosaurus the diplodocalus oh my gosh we have the diplodocalus oh and we should have one more dinosaur two in the big enclosure Let's have the, actually no, yeah, two. So we have the Tissinatosaurus, I think that's how you say it. And uh, the Dreadnoticus. And uh, maybe the Coriothosaurus. So let's actually start making the Brachiosaurus because that takes a long time to make, so we should start it now. So there, the Dilophosaurus are almost ready to make. So I mean, on release. So, we have the Sticky Mollocks are all being transported now. So, this is going to be the... Okay, so let's release the Dilophosaurus. The second dinosaur to your park, our first carnivore. Let's see how you do. Now, if you don't know this dinosaur, he's a dinosaur that basically does the spitting thing. Like that. So, let's just release all the other ones. And let's also 
start incubating a Brachiosaurus, another Brachiosaurus. And let's start making the herbivore field. We have to have a limited space, like not unlimited, a limited space, because this is like a small area. So, let's just, I'm just gonna make it kind of big, not too big though. Actually, is that? I think that's a little too small. Let's just delete some of these. No power. I'm gonna have to make some power real quick. This is big enough. And then let's just build that right there. So yeah, this is gonna be the herb before fields. So, this one's going to be a little different, so since these are gentle giants, we can have a gyrosphere station. If you don't know what a gyrosphere, you'll see. So, look, we can also have some viewing galleries in water. There's, there's no water there. Second. Let me see if there's water here. There's water. How's there water there? That's weird. Okay, so let's just build this right there. So, I think that this is good. Let's just add some forest over here. Because these dinosaurs like forest. Just had forest on the side, yeah. Oh, not in front of the viewing station, because we need the people to see the dinosaurs, dinosaurs. So let's just add a big water area. And let's deluxe tour, no staff that much. And let's make the gyrosphere to track, so. It's basically gonna go around, you can do a circle like this. That's gonna be the gyrosphere tour. Let's just add some trees over here because it kind of deleted some. The I just want to make this as beautiful as possible because our gentle giants need a lot of beauty in their hand. Okay, so I think that's good. So let's just um. The gyrosphere have not been launched because there's no people, but especially that circle thing that goes around. Uh, you will know when you see it. So, the gyrosphere track is done. Where is the thing that needs power? What needs power? Oh, the Dilophosaurus needs to be tranquilized. There we go. Now let's just. Where, what needs power? I'm confused. Let's go in the ranger station. It would say if something needs power. Maybe. Maybe this needs power. Right? Oh, that needs power. Okay, so this will solve that problem. 
right? How far does this go? Oh, that's weird. Um, let's add another one of these over here. And make it like reach out over here. Will that work? Why is it? This is confusing me. Why, why did these lose power? I'm gonna fix that later. So, with this Brachiosaurus is ready to release. Let's see our big, big, big Brachiosaurus. So beautiful. So majestic. Okay, so let's also release our s this. Well, actually, so let's get a Diplodocalus. Two Diplodocaluses. And this guy's ready to release, so let's just tranquilize this guy. And let's also transport this, uh, this Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus and Dilophosaurus. So let's see how our Sticky Moloch pen is doing. You can see the little Sticky Molochs over there. So let's just build more path this way. So um, I don't really think I should add the Indominus Rex. Oh, first of all, because I don't have him yet, and second of all, hmm. and second of all, I think this should not be like a hybrid park. Okay, so this Brachiosaurus is tranquilized. Let's just bring him to his pen. And then let's also tranquilize this guy. And we have to add feeders, I forgot about that. And then let's just add some feeders in this grassy area. Okay, so that's good no yeah this brachiosaurus is ready to be transported so yeah so we have the dilophosaurus so far the sticky moloch and two brachiosauruses so that is good so far okay so the diplodocaluses are still being incubated so for now, let's just add some parasaurolophuses. What should I add here? Let's add a emergency shelter. Cause why not? So let's start to make our next enclosure, which will be another carnivore enclosure. big let's just make it like this and let's just block out so they can't really see the Dilophosaurus and let's also add some stuff over here oh wait no because these I want the palm trees to be seen, but let's add these trees over here, like that. Okay, that's good. This. And I don't really know what we can add over here. Maybe we can add a... Oh! A monorail station. We need one of these. So this monorail station, let's just add the path real quick. So the monorail station, it's pretty obvious what it does. It's a monorail, like a Disney. 
that brings you to other areas in the park. So let's just add these viewing galleries. So add the brachiosauruses. Oh, look at the brachiosauruses. Looks like all these dinosaurs. Oh, look, he's running. He's running. So cute. Hello, little brachiosauruses. Oh, oh, you're gonna run into each other. They're gonna run into each other. No, you're not. Okay. Be careful not to touch the power line. You're gonna get electrocuted. So the pressure orifices are ready to release. So our fifth dinosaur to the park, I believe. The Parasaurolophus. Now, release the other one. And the Diplodocalusus are almost ready to be released. Wait, so what needs power again? So. Okay, so I fixed the power. Um. So, transport. Yes, I know transport, all that stuff. So. Let's just. No, that looks weird because there's like no. Oh. Actually, not really. It's gonna go on the outskirts of the park because I don't want it really being seen that much. And then I'll add a station right here. You can just remove this. This can go like this. And I can edit this. And then this can curve too sharp. No. Oh, oh gosh. Um, maybe we can we can build from here. So curve too sharp, then I'm gonna have to delete this one too, and we can just build from here. Okay, so that's good. So that station has been built, this station has been built, and this carnivore enclosure has not been finished. So most of the enclosures I'm just gonna line the outline like the lining with um, trees. So let's add a bathroom here, like always. And I forgot about one thing, because it just feels incomplete without it, so I had to add that. And since this is carnivore, let's add one feeder there and one feeder there. Oh, since it's uh, another small enclosure, it's gonna still be a small- Oh, Diplodocalus. It's still gonna be a small enclosure, but, um, I mean, a small carnivore, but not as big. Diplodocalus has been released. And that's all, sorry about that noise, I had to move my mic real quick. So, mm, we should have the... How about we have the Baryonyx there? Yeah, let's have, or should we have the, yeah, let's have the Velociraptor go there. Cause Velociraptor, everyone likes a Velociraptor. So one, I'm gonna have four Velociraptors. Yes, four. three and let me while i'm waiting for that let's just tranquilize all these buddies and there is one more parasaurolophus where are you there you are and right here we're just waiting for this parasaurolophus to be i mean this diplodocalus to be released and then i'll incubate a another um, velociraptor so just come on, I want to incubate you, please, I want to incubate you, incubation, incubation, okay, okay, close it, yes, close it, his tail, I don't care if his tail gets snapped off, just close it, thank you, 
let's just have one more arid pattern and then those raptors are going to be released soon so for now let's just transport this diplodocalus to here let's transport this Perseralophus to there there has to be another one. Where are you? Yes, it's Stipilodocalus. Yes, you're gonna be tranquilized. Don't try running away from me. There you go. And we have one more Paracerolophus to tranquilize. Paracerolophus. Where are you? I know you. Oh, there you are. Wait, so. What else does this guy have to. Uh, yeah, he can go home, right? Uh huh. So we'll see if there's anything else we need to pick up. No? So, so far this is good and well. So we have two Brachiosauruses, we're gonna have two Diplodocaluses, two Perseralophuses. I'm gonna add a few more Perseralophuses though. So, here's a quick park tour in the Ranger Jeep real quick. I'm gonna give you a quick park tour. So we have secondary main street, then we have this monorail right here, and in here we have the entrance to the park with some decorate out decoration. So, besides that, we have- oh, look at the- oh my god, wait, 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 one second. Capture mode real quick. Look at this. What- what is it? <laughs> oh, you're choking him, buddy! You're choking him! And- oh. I'm so bad. Oh, look at that tongue! Look at that cute tongue! And look at this. Look at his head, his head. And then, uh, no, no. <laughs> Look at his legs. We're going to the legs. And then he's like, bleh. And then, then this guy's like, bleh. And then we have, yeah. So let's get back in the ranger chief. That was kind of funny though. Oh, it looked the monorail. Hello, monorail. The raptor's ready to release, but. So this is the main street. The main street. Yes, the main street. And then we have the innovation center, innovation lab, I forgot what it's called, bowling alley bathroom, and then this way we have the, um, the what's it called, the herbivore grounds, the herbivore fields, now if we turn this way, this is hotel island, with a viewing gallery over the whole park. I'll give you guys a full tour of the whole park when the series is over. And you might see a little releasing of dinosaurs. I'm, I might release all the dinosaurs when the series is over. You'll see, you'll see. So, uh, almost done with this quick tour. Oh, uh, whoa, oh. Oh, yes, flip, baby, flip, 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 flip. Okay, so right there we have the Dilophosaurus pen, then we have the Sleeping Molloc pen, then over here we have the Velociraptor pen. So yeah, I forgot to add a... Yeah, I forgot to add one of a gate to these things, because we need a gate at all uh paddocks because we need to get into the paddocks just in case anything happens we need a, a few gates at the herbivore fields so let's release our velociraptor okay you're gonna look beautiful buddy come on come on Ooh, so beautiful Raptor, raptor, just don't chase me into the kitchen like you did in the original Jurassic Park. So, the raptors are being released right now. So, let's incubate another 
herbivore. So, oh yeah, I forgot we have to finish off our herbivore fields. So let's just add some Gallimimuses. Or, nah, Gallimimuses take too long to incubate. Let's just, uh, instead of Gallimimus, let's have a Struthiomimus, because Struthiomimuses are way faster to incubate. And there's no real difference. The only difference is just calling a Gallimimus a Struthiomimus and a Struthiomimus a Gallimimus. So let's just tranquilize these three guys. And also with the ranger team, let's let's just resupply all these feeders. What do you mean no access? How do you have no access? That is unacceptable. Unacceptable, I say. Okay, we're gonna have to give this thing access to here. How are we gonna do this? Like, like this, yeah. Now you can do it. Come on. Come on, buddy. You're not lost anymore. Yes, come on. You can do it. So, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna release those Struthiomimus just yet because those reactors are gonna gobble up that Struthiomimus before it even escapes. I mean, before it even gets let out. So, where is the other raptor that needs to be transported? If that's the other raptor. And then, there's one more raptor that needs- No! How many raptors do we have? One, two, three. Yeah, so we have- need one more. Alright, you need to be, um, what's the word? Trinked, 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 trinked. I'm a train, I'm a train, I'm a train. I am a train, I am a train. Oh no, storm warning level. We need to get through this storm, 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 storm. It doesn't look that bad, does it? But just, can you fire on these raptors? It's not that hard. Structure damage, right, that's fine. I'll do that after the storm. So, right, so that raptor has been tricked. Okay, everything's going bad right now. Okay, let's just, we're gonna be, don't wait, 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 wait a second. Yeah, there's still one more raptor in there. Let's just, I'll fix these buildings after because these buildings are kind of hard to fix right now. Oh no, what happened here? That's scary. All right, so let's just resupply. And fix these things. Wait, let's just... Let's just put that below, because the bowling alley needs to be resupplied first. Okay, so this guy has been trained. How does it look in here? So you have one raptor there, and the other raptor here, one raptor there. You have the monorail going up up here, so that's a nice sight. Some meat. And we have the herbivore, herbivore fields over here. So you have the Diplodocalises, two Parasaurolophuses, a Brachiosaurus. Let me actually make some more. Oh, before I do that... Anything else I need to know? Nope. Wait, so the first one, yeah. Okay, so let's just release these Struthiomimuses. Two more. 
They're just like small filler dinosaurs. Let me actually change this one. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I want to drive this. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so. Let's change this guy. Alright, hit him. What? I have bad aim. Just aim carefully. Alright, I hit it and. Hit it. Alright, and they have. Then knock down. Alright, that's good. So let's take this streaky minus plop him in there. Another streaky minus plop him in there. Let's also release these two streaky minuses. And let's release some more Parasaurolophuses. Nope, you need we need you again. Nope. Oh, I'm sorry about that, buddy. Another streaky minus and then we need you to also train. Oh shoot, what's happening? Where's this dinosaur threat? Oh no. Oh, they were just damaging the car. Okay, that's fine. So, no, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? What do we have to do? It's just. So, one of these Struthios are gonna be tranquilized pretty soon then I'll probably end off the video so let's just wait that, that one oh he fell down when he was running I hope he didn't get hurt I'm just kidding who cares he's a dinosaur okay you're somewhere in here buddy I know you're here somewhere oh wait yeah wait no I'm confused okay so we're gonna release these two Parasaurolophuses. Oh, and incubate one more. But like, we're gonna release those, and then after that, I'm gonna pr probably end off the video. But uh, how long? Oh, there, there he is. So I think this is a good herbivore fields. I think this is good because it's yeah I like it so I think next episode we're probably gonna open the park to the public I think we should have more stars by now cuz like look at all the dust well the park is closed so yeah poor capacity uh, poor satisfaction Okay, poor variety. How do we have poor variety of dinosaurs? No, 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 I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's just release this Perseralophus, this Stupiomimus, this Per- and this Perseralophus. So, if you haven't heard, there's gonna be a new Jurassic World Evolution coming out this later this year. So that's gonna be cool. I'm definitely gonna buy it when it comes out because it's basically gonna be like this but it's gonna be in the real world so it's not gonna be on an island like this it's gonna be like in the usa and other countries so that's gonna be cool and like the department of like food and wildlife i mean birds and wildlife all that stuff so how does herbivore fields look now all right it looks pretty good let's just check these guys and then let's just transport this Perseralophus to her before fields. So that looks nice. I like it. It looks beautiful. And then we have another Perseralophus. And then we have one more Perseralophus. No! I was about to cancel it. No. Release. And I think that is all of the dinosaurs. So after they're all transported, I think I'm going to end the video off. So. And then in next episode, I think we're going to just build some more enclosures. 
And so I have an idea for the big boys. So I'm going to make a T Tyrannosaurus Rex Kingdom, like in the real Jurassic World. And then, um, let me just see what I could do. I'm going to have a, a walkthrough. You'll see. You'll see it. So you'll basically be walking with the dinosaurs, but you'll see in the next episode that will probably release tomorrow. So anything else I have to guess is the Parasaurolophus right there. So I just want to see how everything looks when it's all transported. Anything else I have to transport? No? Okay, so how does this look? Actually, 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 actually. I'm gonna... I wanna make something like that real quick. And then, I'm actually gonna start making this area real quick. There, so this is gonna be like a quick like little viewing platform right here so I think we're done for today let's just see so those are the streaky mimuses that's going to capture mode actually no wait I have to move that oopsie there So, we have th uh, four Shivio Mimuses. One, two, three, four, and five Parasaurolophuses. Um, one, two, three, four, five Struthio Mimuses. I think next episode I'm going to add a, one, a few more Struthio Mimuses. Two Brachiosauruses, two Dibilodoculuses, and uh. Oh wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we have five of these guys. We have the gyrosphere area. So, um, let's see how this looks. Yeah, so this looks nice. You can just look over the whole area. Maybe the bracket. Oh, wait, this is a nice idea. The bracket sources can come over here and eat right in front of you. Wait, will that block the view? No, so that's good. Okay, so I think that's it for today's episode. So, I hope to see you guys in the next episode tomorrow. And I see y'all in the next one. Bye!